Prospector's favorite time of year. The start of winter. Windy, cold, snow on the ground. It's supposed to snow again tonight. We just barely made it up here. We're gonna be removing a sample from here, a big sample. We're gonna be checking out another area and doing a little bit of sample panning at a spot we wanted to check out. We think there's gold there. We found gold downstream, so kind of a mix and match of areas we're going to today. Yeah, try not to lose those samples. So this whole area here is mineralized. We're just knocking a bunch of samples off. We're gonna hand pick some nice ones. You got a massive zone of chloratic schists that are heavily oxidized. And oxidization comes from stringer sulfide veins as well as pods of magnetite and massive sulfides. So we hand-picked a bunch of samples, we got some really nice ones here, maybe a little bit of calcopyrite right there, quartz carbonate with pyrite disseminated and minor amounts of calcopyrite. Here you have magnetite and pyrite, bit of quartz in there. More magnetite, pyrite, and minor calcopyrite. Here you got a chloritized schist with quartz intrusions and pyrite, coarse grained. Same with this sample right here. Got a mix here. Up here you have uh, calcopyrite. And then the rest is mainly coarse green pyrite. Here you have snow and calcopyrite. Pyrite on this side.
Got some really nice, nice looking samples here. Gotta love snow. I think there's a bit of sphalerite in here. Pyrite, minor amounts of calcopyrite and bornite. Very small amounts of bornite, it looks like. Some magnetite, too. So, you got quite the mess of sulfides here. Again, you got your quartz carbonate right there, pyrite. And here's an interesting one. Obviously you had uh, some quartz carbonate in there, which has uh, copper mineralization, like so. So the last couple samples here, Very nice. So this is the second area we wanted to sample. A little bit of copper mineralization there. We took a small, small sample of this, which uh, wouldn't be indicative of the whole vein, but it's a fairly small vein here to here. Sulfides really really high grade for silver So what we want to do is we want to get a bit better sample to see This entire vein from top to bottom from side to side If the grade is still the same This will determine come springtime if we are going to be Chasing this along strike We will see, we're gonna pull a sample off. This one we are uh, going to send in for an analysis. And we will post the assay result, we're gonna get a rush on this one. So the vein is fairly deteriorated. I almost can scrape most of this off. So that's a good idea of what the vein looks like. You got native silver with uh, pyrite and minor amounts of calcopyrite. So the largest part of this vein is here, which is about 12 centimeters wide. Got the entire vein now. We will see what's in the sample. Fighting daylight. It's almost four o'clock. Pretty cloudy out, so getting dark. One last spot to check out. It'll probably be dark by the time we get there. But maybe we'll get to see some plaster gold. Last spot we wanted to test here was on this creek. 
We hiked down a little bit, and I think we may have actually found a deposit of something because the rock is just extremely rusty. You can see sulfides. It smells a little sulfury too. So we're gonna pull just a random pan from in here. There's a lot of built up material over there. And uh, we'll do a pan. If we find gold, we'll do maybe a second pan just to confirm and then come back in the spring if uh, we can't make it before the next snowfall. This entire area is just completely bedrock, so definitely a good spot to test. There's a bunch of built up material here low pressure point lots of rusty rock there it almost looks like you have a uh, contact zone right here actually you got shifts to one side and over here you have shale so extremely interesting Really oxidized. Cleaning off a bit of the bedrock here on an inside bend. Looks like the water doesn't get up here too much unless it's uh, high water. So we'll try this area first and then go somewhere a little bit closer to the creek. We're using our uh, trusty Olight flashlight mini one here. It lights it up pretty good. And it's perfect for sticking in your mouth while you're panning if you ever run into the darkness. If you guys haven't checked that out, links in the description for that. Definitely really sultry water. Yeah, you definitely have uh, shale and schists in there. You got a piece of quartz here. Okay, see if there's anything there. We got sulfides and you do have gold. Whoa, wow. That's really good. First pan. I mean, it's all fine gold, but I mean, there's gotta be 20 colors in there. Couple tiny little flakes. Not bad. What do you guys think? Further exploration warranted? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, you got sulfides and black sand in there. So let's do another pan just to confirm. So you can see bedrock is right there. We're going to scoop all this material off, kind of in this little crack here.
very, very nice. A lot of really fine gold. That's still good, though. Lots of tiny little specks there. Not bad. What do you guys think? Pursue this in the springtime? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.